Hi everyone, this week I'd like to share some packing and travel tips and techniques that I've learned over the years that hopefully you can use for your next photography travel trip. So it's been a very busy week for me and this video almost didn't make it this week. Uh, it's been an exciting week. We moved my, my wife into uh, her new place where she can follow her passion to make kombucha uh, professionally. So it's been a very exciting time for us and it's the start of something really, really exciting. So uh, Solstice Kombucha is, uh, is now born. A uh, little plug for my wife there. In fact, here's, uh, here's our new shirts too. <laughs> Shameless plug. Anyway, that along with me leaving for Yosemite tomorrow to join my friend Mark Camp, so yeah, not much left in the tank for me this week. But anyway, I, I do want to cover some um, techniques that, and tips that I've learned over the years. These are things you may be able to add to, to your list or something to consider. So for starters, I have, uh, I have my main bag that I travel with. And this is a great bag because it has, um, has the wheels and it has the handle as well. So you can wheel it around along with some other stuff. But the thing I wanted to first get into is, is weight because weight is always an issue when you're, when you're flying. And this little guy right here is, is a little weight scale that is just so simple and, and genius. And basically you turn it on and what you do when you're, you're packing your luggage is you just take this and you loop this around your, your handle. You just pick your luggage up. So you pick it up and I don't know if this camera's picking this up, but as I'm pulling down and putting some weight on it, it is, uh, it is reading the weight. And the nice thing about this piece is that you don't have to get on a scale with your luggage and then get off and do the math. So these work out really good when you're packing. When I pack for a photography trip, I do not put any of my camera gear in my checked luggage, uh, with the exception of my tripods. But that said, you can go ahead and you can remove your ball heads and you can simply put them in their bag. And now you have your ball head that can now go into your carry-on. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is these cube packs. I, I never thought I'd, I'd use these things. I ended up buying some for a trip. I think it was my Iceland trip. And I, I could not believe how organized I was the entire trip for packing, getting to and moving around from hotel to hotel. They're so lightweight that they don't add any real weight to your, to your, to your luggage. Open them up. I have, a, I have a bunch of these. I ended up buying different sizes. And, and, and what I do is I just put a tag on them and the tag will tell me exactly you know, what I have in each one. I'll, I'll separate my, my shorts, my shirts, socks, underlayers, and everything is quite organized. And then you can also use one. In fact, I have one that's just for laundry, but you can take any one that you want, one of your larger sizes, and just make it a, make it a laundry. So by the end of the day, if you're done with your socks or your undergarments, you can throw them in here. Now you know not to use them again until you wash or whatever your scenario is. So what do I do for carry-on? So as I mentioned before, aside from putting my tripods in my checked luggage, um, everything else goes into my carry-on. And I simply take my photography bag. It's that simple. I take my photography bag. This is literally my carry-on. This is just a, a perfect way to keep all your camera gear on you. It fits in the overhead, no problem. Uh, I think this is a 26 liter, uh, if I remember. Yeah, this is the backlight 26 liter, the, um, the mind shift. Thinking, I do have um, a, a hard drive here that I did want to mention. Uh, if you're not taking your laptop on your trip, but you want some backup, you want a backup of your, of your images, you get back at the end of the day, you fire this up, battery powered, they could get 10 hours of battery on this, and it has an SD card slot in it, as well as a USB port. Take your SD cards out, insert them into the box, and I have the box set up. And I think by default it's set up to automatically just back up those images onto this hard drive. Now the great thing about this is if I still have a lot of space left on that SD card, after I remove it, put it back in my camera and shoot with it the next day, at the end of that second day, third day, whatever, I can slap it back in here, slap it in there. <laughs> And um, 
it's smart enough to, to synchronize. It already knows that, hey, I've already backed up these images yesterday. I'm not going to duplicate them and take up more storage. So it ignore those because it already knows they're on the drive and it just backs up the, the new photos. So uh, this is a great piece to take with you when you're traveling. Um, SD cards, I would recommend before your trip, do a nice clean format. When you get back, everything on all your cards would be from your trip, uh, which makes um, which makes for much, much easier management. And um, if you can, if you have enough cards, take that card and put it in your SD case and because it's another backup. So I recommend you having enough cards for your trip so that you don't have to keep reusing your cards. Another little quirky thing, but uh, I did want to share this. This is a, a non-metal belt. Now I normally wear uh, you know, a metal, a metal belt in my daily use, but I specifically bought this belt for, for travel because it's all plastic and it's just one of those things where you're going through the airports, you don't have to worry about taking your belt off. So these come in very handy for, um, for traveling, going through TSA. If you wear a belt, it's something to consider. All right, so I hope that was informative. I hope you can use some of these tips and techniques. And uh, I would also hope that you may consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps the channel quite a bit. I'm off to Yosemite tomorrow. I am just jazzed up about it. Uh, I do have a video already made for, for next week. So if you're uh, subscribed to the channel, you will be able to tune in and, and check that out. And uh, I'll see you when I get back. Have a great week, folks.